floor is mine. Wow. I need my uh, little uh, notes because English is not my main language. <laughs> and Swedish isn't either. I don't, I don't know one single word. Or at least this, from a, this morning I learned my first word and I even don't remember how to pronounce it, right? It was like Guten Morgen or something. <laughs> so, you know, we make this, this, um, this joke. We also say, oh, always say Knäckebröd because we know it's from Sweden and that's what we eat in the Netherlands. But, you know, I will have to do in English and sometimes it will be difficult for me too. Um, my name is Annette and I work for COIN. And COIN does this. We create um, complementary currencies for different kinds of purposes. It could be um, um, a social purpose, like we did with this coin. It's called the Maki. If you want to translate it, you would say it's the easy. It's easy to do. It's more easy to do it together, and it's um, a social coin for uh, the East Amsterdam area where they wanted to um, get a positive inf influence on the social um, responsibility of the people living there. So if you do some volunteer work and you do that for an hour, you can earn one maki. And with this maki, you can do fun stuff. You can go ice skating or you can go to a movie or, you know, um, you could go to a concert. But the most important thing is you can use it to trade amongst each other. So if I have a neighbor and he's good in, pa in painting, I could ask him to do a painting job and I pay him the amount of makis that the amount of hours it will take. Um, and so there's a lot of different uh, currencies that COIN, the association where I work for, are involved in. But we never made our own currency. We always did it uh, as a project. We were uh, asked to do it for a municipality or an organization. So we never had our own coin. And uh, with TradeCoin, we, for the first time, build our own complementary currency. So I'm going to tell you about that event, uh, adventure and I'm, you know, maybe uh, tell you something, what it does for the Netherlands and what it could do for your region here in Sweden. Um, money makes the world go round. That was a very famous song back in the days. It was in a movie called Cabaret and Liza Minnelli sang it. It was my, my dad's favorite movie, so I had to watch it a lot of times when I was a kid. <laughs> but um, does it really make the world go round? Um, the current money system is very un unstable, as we just heard this morning. European and American banks are under pressure. And even Mr. King, former president of the Bank of England, predicted that the banks would lose their monopoly on money. Um, before I started working for COIN, I never gave, gave much thought to the question, uh, what is money? Money is something that goes through your hands every day. You know, we enjoy it when we have it and we worry about it when we don't. Um, it's bills and coins and we heard this morning when we ask people where does it come from, we think that the money, that the government makes it. So um, I want to tell you something about, you know, we heard this morning what money is, but I want to go back in history how it came about. Uh, in the time of the hunters, people didn't need money. They lived in small groups and they hunted for meat and fished for fish and they picked fruits from trees and bushes and they took care of their own group. They picked what they needed. Uh, but then after this period, they started building villages and um, they wanted to trade. And the first economy that came about was a barter economy. If I had two chickens and you had a goat, we might, you know, exchange that. Or I had eggs and you had milk, we could make a trade. Um, over time, um, uh, people uh, started using valuable items uh, to trade. Salt um, was a very uh, valuable item in that time. The word salary comes from the word salt. Salary is something we get in our bank account every week or month if we work. Um, it was a valuable item because it, you know, it, it kept its value. Uh, you could save it for a lot of years and people wanted it all, all the time. And so they started using silver and gold. And in time, um, uh, money involved in the thing that we know today. But what is, um, if you want to answer the question, what is money? Um, my son was having a test the other day and I was, you know, bothered about the question and what to tell you. And he said, Mom, it's very easy, because he just read it in his notebook. 
um, money is something that we can measure. It's a, an item of account. Uh, we can, uh, it provides us a common base for prices. It makes it easier to determine the value of things. Second thing is, it's a medium of exchange. If some, you, you can use it to buy and to sell something to one another. And the third thing is, you can save money. Um, you can save it for later, or you can save it for a big purchase that you want to do. Um, but money is much more than that. Um, it's the oil that um, makes people trust each other. It's the glue that binds us as a community. Um, because without money, mo modern society could not function. I need those notes, otherwise I'm, I don't know where I am in my story. Um, but the money that we know so well today isn't functioning uh, for all its purposes. The unstable world economy, the banks that fall, bankruptcies of countries like Greece, uh, huge cuts in investments on social care. We struggle and um, we now know that um, one size of money does not fit all. Money was created by people, we came up with this great idea, but it evolved in something that uh, is not working for every purpose and every person. And as creative as we are, we come up with new ideas or old ideas in a new jacket. Like the Bitcoin. Um, uh, nobody actually knows who invented it or created it, but it's, uh, it seems to be really easy to transfer money all over the world by Bitcoin. So it a new purpose. Um, there's um, all kinds of uh, new coins, like the Aurora coin, the Ripple, the Litecoin. So all invented by people. The past decade has been about globalization. The glue and the oil spread over the, over the world and binds us all together. Uh, we are bound by the rules of Europe or the American banks. Uh, but at the same time, we value our own country more, our own region. And we want to feel that we want to feel committed. We want to have an influence on what's going on. We want, do not want the pressure of the banks. You know, we want to create our own successes. And that's what we are doing with Tradecoin. We are, out of our own strength and our own power, we are creating a better economy. Um, it's like the Swiss knife. Um, if you know what you want to achieve, you know which knife to pick. It's the same with currencies. If you know what your purpose is, you know what kind of currency you have to create and to use in order to, to, to get to that purpose. Uh, what we're doing with Tradecoin um, is not new. There is 750 trade exchange networks all over the world. Uh, most of them are in the United States, but there are many examples in Europe as well. Um, 400,000 small and medium enterprises are connected, uh, are, join, are joining those, uh, those world trade exchange uh, organizations, and they do uh, a total turnover of 100 billion dollars a year, so that's a serious branch. Um, there's a, a, a global industry association, it's called the IRDA, the, Intercip Intercipical Re no, the International Reciprocal Trade Association. Um, they um, set some rules and they uh, look out for this branch that we do the right things. Um, and there's lots of, you know, I just figured let's show some big and good and successful uh, trade exchange barter organizations. Uh, barter Card is the biggest one in the world. They are in, in several countries. They started in Australia and in New Zealand and they are now in the United States and in England and in a lot more countries. Turk Barter is doing good business in Turkey. IMS and New Barter are in the United States. And the oldest barter in, uh, I think, in the world is the Wir Genossenschaft, the Wir Bank. Um, it's the biggest one uh, in uh, in Europe. They started in 1934 in response to the great economic crisis and now 80 years later they have over 60,000 members. Almost 20% of all the businesses in Switzerland are connected to the Wierbank. Uh, the Wierbank is a, an economic circle, it's a, it's a community 
and uh, this network works because of solidarity. People feel committed to their own market, to their country, and they want to do good for their country. Um, it's a credit system. Um, they uh, issue um, credits to their members, and uh, those credits are secured by uh, their mem the, mem the, the assets of the members. Uh, and sh and studies have shown that um, the turnover is extremely counter-cyclical. Cyclical. Um, it adds, uh, um, it has a really positive effect to the resilience and stability of the, of the Swiss economy in times of downturn. Um, trade coin, that's what I know the most about, so that's what I want to tell you more about. Trade coin is a network of small and medium enterprises and they do business with each other and they pay each other with a digital, a virtual uh, currency. Oh, wrong button. Um, why do we need a new currency? Uh, why not do business with the euro? Well, I'm going to tell you with a diagram. Every business has um, a certain capacity, a maximum amount of products or hours to be sold. Like the restaurant has 25 tables and they can book 25 tables in the evening. Or a hotel has like 100 rooms and they can book 100 rooms a day. Um, in times of downturn and even in times of a flourishing economy, it's not very likely that you sell everything you can sell. I mean, there's always a couple of rooms available in your hotel. The room that you cannot uh, book today cannot be booked tomorrow. I mean, that's gone. So um, with this turnover, you have some the cost of goods and services, and you make, if you're doing good, a little bit of profit. As I said, there is an amount that is not sold, that you are able to serve on more clients, and that part that you don't sell, that is the part we are looking uh, for in trade coin. We are trading each other the things that we do not sell. So let's say uh, the five tables in a restaurant that were not booked are now booked within the trade coin network and you can make like 500 trade coin. So you add that to your turnover and well, sitting in your bank it's doing nothing. When this is, this is getting interesting, when um, when you're going to spend those trade coin. Because once you spend those trade coin, you're saving euros. So let's say you buy bread every uh, day for your uh, restaurant and it's costing you, let's say, 200 euros or crones. I don't know what a good price is for bread in Switzerland. I do it in euros. Let's say it will cost you 200 euros a day, a thousand a week, because you're five days open. If you could do that trade, in trade coin, you could save a thousand trade a thousand euros a week. So, I mean, your profit your profit grows because of the fact that you uh, sold your tables for trade coin. Do I make any sense? Do you follow? Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, we're going to look at, at it from another perspective, from the perspective of um, uh, the business owners. We're going to build our own network here, a small network. This is Susan. She has a design agency and she designs corporate branding. She designs websites. Um, she lost some, car, uh, some clients because of the, the recession and um, well, she could use some and she really has to cut down on costs because of the fact that she uh, lost some clients. This is John. He has a, a cleaning company. Uh, John has like five employees and they have been working with him for a couple of years. Um, he is paying them 24 hours a week for cleaning, but lately he's finding it difficult to keep him busy because he also lost some clients. And what John needs is a computer, is computer, a computer network um, and uh, he has no budget for that. This is Mark. Mark has a computer maintenance shop. His uh, shop uh, exists for almost five years and, you know, he's doing really good. He can earn a good living, but still he has some time on, on his hands to, to, to serve on more clients. And he wants to celebrate his fifth anniversary of the company. Oh, that was a bit too fast. Well, and then we have Roland. He's a painter and he's just a startup. He started painting in, uh, he started his painting winter. Over summer he had a lot of work, but now the autumn is uh, 
getting about and you know it's a downtime so he really needs a website for his new business in order to get visible within the region uh, and, ah. okay we're back um, Susan uh, had to cut down on costs so she let go her cleaning lady and uh, after three months she's fed up with uh, doing the cleaning herself and to be honest she's better at designing websites and she wants to spend more time doing that so she goes to John and she said are you willing to clean my office and he says yeah because you know my people have some time on their hands I will um, so they make a trade and she pays him 1200 trade coin um, oh man yeah so now Susan is has a negative balance of 1200 trade coin and John has a positive balance of 1200 trade coin. John needed a new computer network very desperately, but he did not have the, the euros. But now he, do, he does have, you know, trade coins, so he can spend within the network. And he's looking for the maintenance shop of Mark. And Mark says, yeah, sure, I will uh, give you a new uh, computer network. It will cost you 800 trade coin. So there comes another transaction, 800 in the plus for Mark and John still has 400 left. Then we have our startup painter. He really needs his website badly and Susan is willing to, uh, to get this job because she's, she has a negative balance and she really has to earn this back. So he pays her 2,000 and she goes to 800 and he has 2,000 in the, in the zero. Then there, you know, Ellen heard about Tradecoin and she says, hey, nice things going on there. I would like to join. Uh, everybody can join the network. I mean, if you have goods or services that um, uh, are for sale and you have the ability to serve on new clients, you can participate. But um, you mu everything is about uh, offer and demand. There must be a demand for your products or services. And you must be able to, you know, so you must be able to sell things. And on the other hand, you must be able to spend all the currencies that you earn because once they're in your bank account, they're doing nothing for you. They start working for you once you spend them and you start saving euros. Um, so um, we ask Alan, okay, where do you want to spend those, those trade coin that you plan to earn? And she said, well, I have a painting job and uh, I need to print work and I might uh, need a lawyer because, you know, I have this problem with my... So, you know, we are finding out that she will be able to spend and she will be able to learn. So we say, yeah, you can come to our network. Um, but still, she's in the catering business and, you know, we have to find out if catering is something that our people, our businesses want, if there is a request for that. And we know that um, Mark has his anniversary coming up, so we actively go to him and we say, you, you have this anniversary, you want to have a party. Are you willing to trade for catering? And he's willing, so now Ellen can enter the network and they can do a trade. So that's how it works. Um, so Tradecoin can um, help grow your business. It will uh, get you new customers, customers that would not have come to you if you had not joined the network because these are uh, businesses that want to save euros they have over capacity that they can use for doing uh, new investments uh, so it will get you new customers it will uh, give you a better cash flow as you see we um, you don't have to loan money you get everybody uh, can get a credit line if you have a solid company uh, you don't have to pay interest over the credit that you um, that we give you. I mean, that's just the way it works. If you add all the balances together, the negatives and the positives, the outcome will be zero. So that's how it works. It's a, uh, it's a coin that, you know, has to go around. Uh, it, it is for investment. It's not for saving because you will not get interest over your positive balance and you will not pay interest over your negative balance. Um, well, let's look at uh, your area. <laughs> I'm very, very finding it difficult to pronounce it the right way, so I feel a bit hesitant to do that. Um, 
we could build, uh, if you look at the, the regular uh, um, economy, um, it goes, usually goes like this. Um, people, if, uh, money comes into the area by earning, you sell your stuff and you earn money. But then um, we start spending the money that we earn and we buy a lot of things out of our own region. We buy print work online because that's much, more, much cheaper. We even go abroad for that. Uh, or we buy clothes from China, or we buy, you know. So um, that's where, uh, what happens in the regular economy. With Tradecoin, it's different. With Tradecoin, you're bound to spend the Tradecoin that you earned within the network. So the money that, we, the Tradecoins that we earn, they go round uh, within the region, and they do good for a lot of businesses. So the lawyer uh, that went to court and earned 500 trade coins goes out to dinner with his wife within, you know, in a restaurant in the area, and that restaurant needs, like say, tablecloths and, and buys that within the region, and so the money goes around and does good for the, cup, for, um, the region. Um, I want to show you uh, a little um, film that we made. Um, we interviewed a couple of our of the businesses that we uh, that participate in Tradecoin. Um, so it is in Dutch, but it's subtitled. So I hope you can follow it. Tradecoin is een netwerk voor en door ondernemers om met elkaar zaken te doen en elkaar te betalen in ons eigen geld, de Tradecoin. Hoe dan? Kijk zelf maar. Ik ben uh, Sander van Animatiestudio Urbuk en we maken uh, animaties. Mijn naam is Pieter Mandemaken. Ik verkoop maatpakken. Ik ben Mireia van Mireia's Import. Wij uh, importeren wijn uit Spanje. Mijn naam is Manus Kabotse en ik ben uh, oprichter van Carcleaners.nl. Via Tradecoin heb ik uh, advocatendienst heb ik, uh, afgenomen. Er is een transactie mijn kant op gekomen met, met dit event. Uh, de Tradecoin die ik daarin verdien. Daarmee uh, kunnen we ook echt leuke investeringen gaan maken. En ik heb een barter gedaan uh, voor vindbaarheid in Google. Het grootste voordeel is, is toch dat je binnen een netwerk met elkaar handel kan, kan maken eigenlijk die er anders niet geweest was. En dit geeft je toch wel de, de, de ruimte en de adem om, om te blijven bestaan zonder een bank. Omdat ik de manier van handel vind ik wel vind ik sympathiek. In eerste instantie idealisme. Ik denk dat het goed is dat wij uh, onafhankelijk worden van de bestaande financiële markten. En ik denk dat het goed is dat het MKB een eigen uh, kanaal heeft om hun betalingen te regelen. De, de manier waarop er gewerkt wordt en ook de manier waarop de, de mensen van Tradecoin je helpen eigenlijk om je business te bouwen. Dat mensen zeggen van nou je moet dus met hem zaken doen, want hij doet, uh, hè, doet dit en dat is misschien voor jou iets. En, zij, en dan ben je al via dat netwerk, word je geïntroduceerd, je kent elkaar uh, en dat werkt gewoon heel prettig. Voor mij zijn er drie redenen waarom ik enthousiast ben over Tradecoin. In eerste instantie omdat het mijn mechanisme biedt waardoor ik nieuwe um, klanten kan winnen. Um, en dat heb ik hard nodig in deze tijd. Het tweede is, is dat het Tradecoin een mechanisme is waardoor ik euro's kan besparen zonder dat ik in mijn uitgaven ga snijden. En het derde is, is dat we op deze manier bouwen aan een nieuw ondernemersklimaat voor MKB ondernemers in Nederland. En dat is erg hard nodig volgens mij. En daarom nu deze Simbit-campagne, zodat we Tradecoin goed kunnen door laten groeien. Dus investeer en spread the word. <laughs> That was just a movie I could use for this. Um, let's get back to my presentation. Where is it? <coughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it starts from the beginning. <laughs> I will have to go back to this and then. Okay, um, I promised you to tell uh, you something about our experience, so I'm going to take you 
on a little journey on how we started. We started thinking about how to um, create our own trade exchange organization and we visited the United States to get to know a couple of those organizations and we tried to create our own situation for the Netherlands which would really fit us. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Just yeah. Um, <coughs> So um, we started building our network in October of 2013, just a year ago. And uh, we did that under the radar. Just, you know, we wanted to get to know our market. We, and we picked an area of, um, of uh, like four, a range of 40 kilometers with 300,000 inhabitants and 25,000 businesses, because that's a good market to start. And we picked the Amsterdam area where there's lots of people and lots of businesses. And COIN is situated there, so that was easier for us. Um, and we, uh, we started to build and we started to, you know, to, to give lectures and to, to invite people for events and tell them all about our great idea. And uh, we were looking for the early adopters. But what we learned from the United States, if you want to uh, build your network, you're, you have to do it fast because once you get people enthusiastic, they want to start trading. So, and you know, there's a big risk if you have a small network and you start trade, then you know, you might be able to earn something, but then you have to spend it, and then maybe that specific item or service that you want is not, not, ready, not there yet. So, we said we want to build a network of one of 80 uh, businesses, and then we're going to start trade. So, we really speed it up and within six months we had 130 businesses lined up. We, you know, we bought a small network so that's why it went a little bit faster than we had expected. Um, and when we had 100 businesses there we started to trade and we figured well you know let's you know um, give a big push on the gong and then you know we we're off and people are going to start trading but that did not happen. Um, Trading needs good brokering, and uh, in order to do that, you, you, because this is new, new for people, it's a new currency, it's kind of exciting, you know, is it going to work out, am I not going to lose uh, uh, money? Uh, so we started um, by, um, by a, a big inventory, what do you need and what do you have available for trade? And um, we put all kinds of ads on a website. We have a marketplace where offers and demand can be um, uh, projected. So, um, uh, and then, you know, we started um, uh, 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 organizing events where uh, businesses could meet and, you know, they could interact and, and we uh, noticed that when we put, well, when we would put those entrepreneurs together that, you know, trade would come about because everybody, you know, I'm talking to you, I trust you, I see you, I've seen you before and then things were going to were going well. So active brokering is really important in the start of a, uh, of a new uh, trade exchange organization. And then we needed to grow our uh, network uh, further because, you know, there were requests for, for, for products and services that we could not offer. So, um, um, for example, in, in, those, in this film you saw uh, a girl or a woman. She was. She's called Manushka, and she's from CarCleaners.nl, and she cleans cars. And uh, we um, uh, got in touch with her because we had a rental uh, business for cars, and he really needed a car cleaning service on location, and that's what they do. So I found them, you know, via the internet, and I called them. I said, "This is what we're doing. I have a new customer for you. He has 25 cars. Are you interested?" And sure, she was interested. I did a tell. Didn't tell her beforehand that you know we paid each other with trade coin. But once we met and I told her about it, she was really enthusiastic, and now she's really into this and uh, she's doing good business within our network. Um, what we are looking for is reoccurring transactions because in order to really prosper from participating in trade coin, uh, you you need to do like a thousand trade coin a month, um, and that's not something you do you know, in the first year. We aim to do that in the third year. So now we're trying to um, connect businesses to each other and, uh, and, and, and try to find the reoccurring uh, transactions. Services is very, you know, easy to trade because it doesn't cost a lot of money to, 
to give an extra an hour of advice so it's easy to trade within a network with cars for example it's really difficult because I think there's a margin on a car of about 1%. Well, you know, that's not going to happen within a trade exchange network. The service on your car, on the other hand, is really, you know, that could be done. Uh, new tires could be done. So we're finding our ways to those reoccurring transactions that businesses need every month or every three months or maybe every year. Uh, could be an accountant, could be a lawyer, uh, could be uh, um, accommodation, uh, rent, rent for your head. There, there are already businesses in our, uh, in our community that pay for rent for their office space with tra in Tradecoin. Um, hospitality is a big thing. I think the restaurants that we have within the network are the most um, successful at this point. Um, because we really like, uh, it's, it's nice to spend trade coin. I mean, it's much nicer than spending euros because every time you spend a trade coin, you're saving euros and it makes you kind of, you know, feel good. Um, and it's easier to spend them because, you know, it doesn't feel like real money. Um, so, um, hospitality is a big thing and, and it makes trade between uh, uh, countries also uh, very uh, attractive. Um, if we look at the hospitality branch, because they can earn very easily, they have to spend it as well. And what we see happening is they spend it on laundry services or they spend it on wines. They spend it on bread. Bread is a, bit, a big thing. We just had this company coming to us and he said, I, I sell bread. You know, can I join? And of course he could, but you know, we didn't, we really had to find out if, if bread would be a good item for sale in, a, in, in our network. And it really worked out. He's a, he's a very, uh, yeah, he does good business within a network. So um, we try to, to make loops. We try to close the loops. If you have a demand and you have a request, you know, you have to connect those businesses together. It's all about offer and demand, and that must be in a, a good balance um, within the network. That's how it works. Um, what's important to know, um, one trade coin in our network equals one euro. And for us, that's important because we want... Um, the, the price is within the network to be honest prices. You don't want to pay more within our network. We want, you know, if a, if a, a room costs 100 euros, then we want to pay 100 trade coin within the network. Um, and what's important to know is that you cannot buy trade coin. The only way to get trade coin is to earn them within the network. So you have to sell your services or your products in order to get them. Um, and once you have them, you cannot exchange them for euros or crones or dollars. The only way to get rid of them is to spend them. Um, a very important is that, you know, this is a, a currency that should be spent, it should not be saved. I mean, I told you before that, you know, you don't get interest over your positive amount and it's not doing anything for you when it's in your bank account, so you should s spend it. We have... Um, we say that we would like every participant to go through the zero from positive to negative or from negative to positive balance every four or six months. So you, if you have a negative balance, you should earn back that negative balance within a period of six months. If you have trouble finding the right clients, there's good brokers within the network to help you find those clients and to make sure that you are visible within your network or we go we think about what you, what you are offering now and what you might be able to offer within a network where, there, where you might meet more clients. Um, if you're not able to, uh, repay, to, to, to earn back what, we, what your negative balance is, then you will eventually have to repay that in euros. Um, and taxes must be paid. You cannot, you know, like the tax, tax authorities, they really, um, don't care if you uh, earn dollars, euros, or crones, or trade coin, <laughs> as long as you pay your taxes. In euros. Sorry? In euros, yeah, that's the case. But um, the other way around is the same way. If I pay fat, like uh, if I pay fat for my business, and I pay that in trade, in trade coin, I can claim it back from the, uh, from the tax authorities in euros. Mm -hmm. If I earn them, then I have to pay them within trade coin, so uh, in euros. So if you, um, it's a it's a money it, it's it's a dollar that has to go round. So you know you don't 
it's not a real problem if you spend your um, your uh, your trade coins fast enough. Um, okay, um, we uh, we now are building our network and we have 186 businesses, um, and we plan to uh, to um, to um, make it a cooperative organization once we reach the 300 participants. This will be uh, uh, a currency for and of the, the, the participating businesses. Um, um, it's not free, you know, if you want to join, you have to pay uh, a monthly fee of 25 euros. And we ask for a transaction fee uh, on every sales, uh, on every purchase that you do within the network of 5%. And of those 5%, 1% goes into a guarantee fund. And that's really important because, you know, there might be uh, a company that goes bankrupt. So that's why how we covered that risk. Um, uh, and uh, well, the, the risk and the guarantee fund is also the ownership of the cooperative. That's how we plan to do that. Tradecoin is the third party record keeper. We uh, provide the portal, the banking software. Uh, we do the, if you like, the brokering and the credit check which is really important. I mean, everybody that joins should be able to have a credit line and for 500 trade coin, that's no problem. You can just have it. But uh, over 500 trade coin, we do a credit check. And we want to make sure that your business is, is healthy, that uh, it's not on a point of bankruptcy because we really need healthy businesses to participate. Um, it's, you know, it's not, Participating in trade warring is not going to save your company if you're, you know, going down the line. But it's, it's going to do good when you're, you know, kind of uh, in a good situation. Um, and um, we think that, um, uh, and we know that from experiencing and looking to other businesses that um, in a in a good um, trade exchange organization, organization, you are able to grow your profits like 10 to 15 percent and you know you should not m do more turnover than 10 to 15 percent of what you're doing because you really need the euros for the salaries and you need the euros for uh, um, for your uh, for your for other things but you know to give you an extra boost tradecoin could really help um, well, I already told you, no, I didn't. Um, to start up a trade exchange, as I said, uh, it's, it's important to, to make a little speed at the beginning so you can start up trade. And then within the second year, you should uh, get to a break even point when you have 300 uh, SMEs joining. And after that, the growth will go more rapidly. That's our experience because um, when you have 300 businesses, everything is for sale. In the beginning, you have to be really patient because, you know, you might want something that is not there or you might have to wait until, you know, the broker has found uh, a business that is able to deliver what you're looking for. But when there's 300 businesses, almost everything is for sale. And that's when it gets really attractive for businesses to participate. Um, we are planning, so this is what we're doing now. We, in our, we, are, we just started in our second year, so we are building our network up to 300. And then uh, once we reach that, we're going to copy this. And we want to build more networks throughout the Netherlands. We planned five uh, before 2015. And then after that, we want to, you know, and maybe at the same time, we want to go across the border and see what we can do in Northwest of Europe maybe in Sweden, maybe in Ireland and in Belgium. Um, this is something I, I thought may, you might be interested in, this, uh, what the turnover of a, uh, a, a good working um, trade exchange network could be. Uh, if you have, we ask 25 euros a month, which is um, 300 euros a year for participating. If you have a thousand, um, let me check. Oh yeah, and if you um, like, if you have three hundred businesses and they trade like thousand trade coin a month, times twelve, your market grows with three point six uh, million uh, trade coins a year. So that's the new market that you created. Uh, for participation, we ask twenty five uh, euros. So you know, um, there's and, and five percent on every purchase. So you have a turnover of two hundred and seventy thousand. So. For the cost of that, you can achieve that. So I think that's not bad, right? Um, 
that was my presentation. I think I'm much faster than I was supposed to be. Are there questions? Are, were there things that are not quite as clear as they should be? Uh, how is it with this? Uh, uh, how, how do you find the thousand limit for a thousand? Is it uh, experience or is it a cal made calculation for that? Uh, a thousand is good because you know then um, it's yeah, easy. It's easier to trade. Yeah, uh, I think the maximum is like three thousand. If you get bigger than a three thousand, you should start a new community. Mm -hmm. So it might sometimes be better to uh, to create a new a, a new community next to the one that you already have instead of growing it bigger and bigger. Yeah, because the community sense is really important in uh, in this situation. Thank you on that. You're welcome.